Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for coming back if you've been here before and if you haven't, this is where we talk about film and cameras I like. So let's get to it. Today we're going to be talking about the Kodak 800 speed color film that is only available in disposable cameras. So Kodak has uh, their main 800 speed color film which is Portra 800. Portra 800 is a professional grade film and it's uh, on the more expensive side. Um, so for all of us photographers on a budget, this might be a good option for you if you find a disposable camera at a good price or if the alternative to this film, which is Lomo 800, is less available than it is here, like in Canada. Lomo 800 is actually cut from the same master roll as uh, this Kodak disposable camera film. So that means it's the exact same film stock you'll get the exact same results, but it's just in a different packaging. So here in Canada, disposable cameras go anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. And that's actually a pretty good price for a roll of film. Uh, for all the American viewers, you're probably sh absolutely shook right now that we're spending that much money, but that is um, the struggle. That is the struggle. Uh, Lomography 800 here goes for around 17, 18 bucks a roll. So it's pretty comparable. Uh, the only downside is that taking a uh, roll of film out of a disposable camera will only leave you with 27 shots instead of 36. So if that extra nine frames is really important to you, then maybe look into Lomography 800. I also did this just to see what would happen. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. I wasn't even sure what the film would look like when I took it out of the disposable camera, but it's just on a standard roll. It has a film leader and everything, so it's pretty much set to go into your regular film SLR uh, without any modifications. I will say that it is not DX coded, so if that's important to you, or if you're shooting on a point and shoot camera, uh, that's something to consider since your camera won't know what the ISO is or how many shots are on the roll. Um, so I'll show you how to get the film out you're gonna need a darkroom changing bag, a film retrieval tool, that's not absolutely necessary, but it is helpful. And yeah, let's get to it. So basically the first step is getting the disposable camera into a changing bag. Well, you can also do this in any completely pitch black room or under some covers. So don't feel like you need to go out and buy a changing bag just for this. So basically what you wanna do is advance the film, uh, take a frame and repeat that 27 times until the film has retrieved, until the film has gone all the way back into the canister inside the camera. So basically we're doing this to get the best results out of the film stock disposable cameras. They're a plastic lens with a fixed aperture and a fixed shutter speed. So needless, so needless to say, um, you won't get the best results out of a disposable camera. So the next step is basically removing the film out of the canister. You can do this with a film removal tool or any other methods that you can see online. There's plenty of good options out there. And basically from there, you load it up into your camera just like you would um, any other roll of film and shoot away. So let's talk about some results next. Okay, so let's look at the results. Overall, the reviews are great. If you've seen Loma 800, you've pretty much seen this film. And uh, getting it from the one camera to the other didn't affect any of the results. So that is fantastic. 
Um, I sent the film off to the lab, downtown camera in Toronto, and they did all the processing and scanning for me. 800 speed's great because you can shoot inside, no problem. I was only at uh, f2.8 because that's how wide my lens goes. And the results are great. Uh, overall, the film is grainy and that's uh, to be expected for a 800 speed film. Color or black and white, you're gonna get that grain. But the colors are fantastic. Uh, skin tones are great as to be expected from Kodak film. Greens are great. I shot these on mostly sunny days and the and uh, the latitude holds up really well. So um, in images where there's really strong highlights and really strong shadows, uh, a lot of the detail is maintained. So it's great for sunny days as well. Reds look uh, great, typical for Kodak, and the greens look really good too. They're not oversaturated. They don't have like that nasty digital green, uh, green look. Uh, they look nice pleasant to the eye and I, I really can't complain about any of the results so um, this is a, a pretty good option if you're in a pinch for 800 speed color film and you're willing to do a little bit of work to get it out of the camera um, it works really well for portraits so if that's something that you're interested in I'd say go for it as well so if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, these videos are a labor of love and I do them just because I really like to do them. I don't make any money off of them. But if you wanna send a little bit something my way to uh, me a little coffee in the morning, um, I'll put a link to my coffee account where you can send creators uh, a little bit of a donation. So um, thanks for watching. You made it all the way to the end of the video. And that's quite, uh, quite the accomplishment. So that's all for today.